In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize this free CSS template that I've provided from my site. So the first thing you want to do is download the template. And after you download the template, let's just assume you put it on your desktop. Make sure that you double click the template file and take the internal folder outside of the zip file. So right now, let me do that again. Notice I double clicked. Now this is the folder inside the zip file. Click and drag and put that folder someplace else on your desktop or on another place on your computer. Do not try to open this template in an editor without taking it outside of the zip folder first, okay? Because if you try to open it through the zip folder, then the files won't show up properly. So after you've done that, you're going to open up your web editor, whatever you use. I'm using Dreamweaver. If you have front page or if you use InView or Composer or Coffee Cup, whatever you choose, open them up and open up your index.html file. That's your home page. Now, if you don't have a web editor, you can use something like Notepad or BB Edit. But if you don't have um, if you don't have an editor, you're just going to see funky looking code like this. You won't be able to see the pretty graphics like you can with an editor. So me personally, I like using editors. So uh, and I highly recommend Dreamweaver. Okay, so this is the index.html page. This is your home page. So if you wanted to create additional pages, you would just go to File and then Save As and then rename this page something else. That's how you'll create additional pages for your template. The other important file in this uh, template is the style sheet and the style.css file is your style sheet. So in order to change, what, what the style sheet does is it governs the layout of this entire site. So notice the width of this left column, that's all determined in the style sheet. See this color here, this blue color in the left column? That's all determined in the style sheet. So I'm going to go to the style sheet and I try to name the section so that's pretty intuitive. So the left nav here, this block of code is telling the browser what to display for this left nav. So let's say you don't like this blue color and you want to change it to red. You would open up the style.css file and look for left nav and change it. See this background color and it's got this funky little hex color code here. Now no one expects you to know what the color is for red and no one expects you to memorize the thousands of hex color codes that exist. If you want to figure out how to select the right hex color that you want, you can use a plugin. So if you're a Firefox user, do a Google search for Colorzilla and you can download this very cool plugin that will it's like an add-on to your Firefox browser and what it does is it adds an eyedrop tool to the lower left corner of your browser and anytime you see a color on the web you go hey that's the color I want to use for my site you just hover the eyedropper tool over that section and Firefox will give you the hex color so hopefully you use Firefox it's the best browser it's the safest browser and it really has some cool add-ons. So if you have Firefox, go ahead and download that plugin and use it because it's very handy. If you don't have Firefox, don't fret, and you use that old crazy Internet Explorer, <laughs> go to my site, tocreatorwebsite.com, and do a search for hex color codes or hex colors. And I have some free charts on my site that will help you generate the appropriate colors that you need. So let's say you want to change the color to the left nav to red. Now I happen to know that the color for red is CC0000. How do I know that? Just because I know some of the basic colors. I don't know them all, but I know a few. Again, don't fret. Don't feel like you have to know all these. Use those tools that I just mentioned. So I'm going to save the style.css file and go back to the index page. And voila, look, the left nav is now red. Now that looks hideous. Of course you wouldn't keep it like that, but I'm just showing you what it's going to look like in this example. So let's go back. I'm going to undo that and we're going to go back to the old color. And I hit save and the index file is updated. So anytime you want to edit any layout changes, you go to your style.css file and you look for the appropriate section and make the changes. So for example, the container. The container is actually this entire box that the site sits in. That's the container. So if you want to change that to say to make it larger you would change the width. Right now it's at 850. If you want it to be a thousand you would change that to 1000 pixels. That's what the PX stands for, pixels. The header. That's this section here. That's where it says your site here. 
that's your header. So say you wanted to change the width and height of the header, you would just adjust these two values here. Now, notice that the header has a background image. So this air this this your site name here, that's this whole area right here that you're looking at, that's actually an image. So the reason why I made it an image is if you have a graphics program, you can change this your site name here to actually include your logo your logo or your company name or whatever you want to do so what I've done is I if you open up the images folder that you downloaded I have two files in there one's called header.psd and the other one's called header.png and for those of you who, who use graphic programs you know what they are but they're just the source file so you can open those files up in your graphics program make the changes and then resave them and overwrite this file again and then it'll change and you'll have your your site's name here. Now, if you don't have a graphics program, don't fret. What I've done is I've created a blank image. And you can just change this here to header underscore blank. Save it. Voila. Now you can type whatever text you want here. So site name here. And of course you would adjust the font size and the color. You can barely see it with the black text, but that's just the default text. So if you don't have a text editor, you can go ahead and just blank out that image by changing header.jpg to header underscore blank dot jpeg. So I tried to provide a workaround for people that have graphic programs and for people that don't. So that's how you would adjust the header. So as you can see, thanks to the style sheet, you can pretty much change the entire layout of this whole web page. If you don't like the color of the footer, you can go back to your style sheet and scroll down until you find the footer section. Here it is. Notice this is the background color. If you want to change the the header or the footer to black, I happen to know that the color code for black is that. So you save it and look down here notice the the footer is now black so that's let's, let's undo that and save it and now it's back to the old color so anytime you want to change any layouts you go to the style.css anytime you want to change text you edit that right inside the index.html file and if you notice as you read the index.html file I tell you what areas of the style sheet you need to edit to make the appropriate changes so right here I tell you the entire left column layout and color is controlled by the left nav section the, the nav links above are controlled by the a left nav and the a hover section so if you want to change these links and you don't like the color you don't want them to be white you want them to be another color you would use you would go to the style sheet and look for these sections that I've told you to look for so I've tried to, to label this as much as I can so you know how to make the appropriate changes notice the hyperlink I tell you how to change the hyperlink colors by going to the style sheet so you can pretty much do whatever you want to just by changing the style style sheet it's amazing what CSS will allow you to do and if you want to really learn the nuts and bolts of CSS I would highly recommend you go to W3 schools because they teach you how to how to really use CSS and get the full power out of CSS this is a real basic quick and dirty overview that I'm giving you here but if you really want to get into the the, um, the guts and the depths of CSS I really recommend you go to W3 schools they probably have some of the best free tutorials that are out there so I hope you've learned a lot I really hope you enjoy this uh, three column template um, again I wanted to provide this for free because I know creating three column layouts can be kinda tricky so hopefully providing this template will really help you along alright I'll see you around and good luck with your site bye bye